Next, we're going to move over to the administrative gear in the lower left-hand corner. And we're going to cover the extensions page. Extensions are small blocks of code that add additional functionality to your installation. Some extensions that are available include language localization, integrations with other products, and other improvements. The extensions page lists all the extensions that have been installed and provides controls for adding, enabling, disabling, or removing them. These tools have either been developed by ConnectWise or by our partners. If you see it in the marketplace, we have tested it and improved it for use. Now we're going to click on the Browse Online Extensions to view them. We offer integrations with other products in our ConnectWise ecosystem, like Manage and Automate. We have integrations with third-party companies like Freshdesk, ESET for antivirus, Zendesk, and Outlook. Other popular extensions include the Guest Session Starter, which allows your guests to create and join sessions themselves from your URL, or our Tech Roll Call, which lets you view hosts who are currently connected to sessions or who have recently logged into the application. All of the extensions are free to install, with the exception of two, which are under the Premium tab. These are included if you are a Premium license holder. One of these is the Reporting Dashboard, which displays connection activity, session events, recently active technicians, and more. You can also generate a report and download it in a variety of different formats. The other is the Remote Diagnostic Toolkit. This adds additional tabs to view and manage processes, software, event logs, and services on a remote device. The security page contains controls for creating host and administrator user accounts, as well as options for configuring permissions for users of ConnectWise control. The page is divided into three sections, the user sources, the roles, and revoke access. To create a user, you can click on user, Show User Table. You can hover over to create a user over here. To create a user, you'll want to give them a username and an initial password, and then maybe force the password to change at next login. You can also set up two-factor authentication give them a display name that shows up when they're connected to that machine, and establish their email if necessary. Finally, you'll want to assign them a role. By default, administrator and host are options. You can also create custom roles Assign that custom role name and restrict access to certain privileges or even a set of machines. If you need to, you can also edit those roles. Revoke access is for the guest host pass. In case you've finished the work with that third party early, you can then revoke that pass so that they cannot connect when you are not present. Next, we will hover over to the Appearance tab. The Appearance tab is going to allow you to fully customize your ConnectWise control instance. From here, you can customize the web resources or the client resources. 
So all images and text can be changed. All the logos, even the home screen, and the verbiage in here. An example of that would look something like this. Changing everything you want to make it look like it's your software and not ours. The audit trail page allows an administrator to view session activity such as host and guest connections during a specific time and date range.